And hello, hi, it's Deborah E. Johnson. And you know the theme of this channel is Tell of His Goodness. And so I'm going to try something a little different today. I thought to read a book about the goodness of God. And so I have found this book, which is called Daring to Hope by <clears throat> Katie Davis Majors. And there is even a forward by Ann Voskamp. So join me while I read these read this book and we'll see how God is good, even in the midst of the struggles and trials and opportunities that Katie Davis Major goes through. Daring to Hope, Finding God's Goodness in the Broken and the Beautiful. New York Times bestseller author of Kisses from Katie, Katie Davis Majors, and a foreword by Anne Voskamp. To our children, these are the things I want you to know. Forward by Anne Voskamp. Daring to hope can explode into a liberation out of a prison you didn't even know you were in. And sometimes you don't know that there's already a slow burn of hope in your bones until you meet someone ablaze with whispers of his glory. Like when I met, meet Katie on the front porch of her house on red African dirt under a scorching July sun. In five minutes, I'm sitting crisscross applesauce on Katie's couch with, a, with her littlest girl who is dragged up a pile of books and I'm reading Oxcart Man aloud in Uganda with this little wonder nestled on my lap, her head of braids tucked under my chin. I think my heart might explode. Katie stirs beans in a massive pot on the stove and one of the girls pulls up a chair and mashes a steaming heap of potatoes as I read to the littlest girl. There's a map on the wall over Katie's table, and this is what I want to, to do from the moment I meet Katie. We could write it on a million kitchen chalkboards. You are doing something great with your life. When you are doing all the small things with his great love, you are changing the world when you are changing one person's world. You aren't missing your best life when you aren't missing opportunities to love like Christ. Love is complicated and the simplest thing in the world, and that is all there is. And when you know the embrace of his love in a thousand ways, daring to hope becomes the way you breathe. You aren't in the presence of Katie five minutes before realizing <clears throat> she never stops te testifying to love and hope and the richest kind of life. She's a woman who laughs loud and long, a bit like an angel when someone says she's a, like a modern day Mother Teresa. Katie just looked Katie just took Jesus at his word. Real life is lived on your knees because hope is daring is a daring seed that you plant with prayer again and again because this is the way your life yields more joy. A man with a flesh-eating virus limps to the door. Katie opens the door wide and grabs him a chair and I watch her dress his wound. Katie's hope is a verb that reaches up, that reaches out, and that has hands and heart and her hope always rises. We go out to the aching countryside to where Amiza, the ministry she founded, feeds hundreds of, of kids. We sing gospel songs so I think we might lift the roof. I lean in and push laughing kids on swings and watch how these kids in hard places touch the sky. Watch how all your hopes can swing up to touch the expanse of God. One of Katie's beautiful daughters celebrates her birthday and Katie and I stand together in the kitchen and make up six pans of lasagna. It's like I could feel the sky descending to meet all these brazen believing. Katie will serve 22 people around her table tonight. She leans over my shoulder in the kitchen and whispers, pray, there's a friend named Benji coming tonight. And it's really new, but maybe God is calling us to something beyond friendship. And maybe you can hope with us. Katie smiled radiant and because of all of her unceasing prayers and defiant praise she has swallowed down bits of the glowing sun bits of his undeniable glory when katie lights the candle that night you can feel the lighting living radical isn't about where you live it's about how you love how you love the beauty of him how you love his beautiful people it's about realizing real life large love doesn't happen when you arrive in a certain place it happens when your heart arrives in a certain place Wherever you are, right where you are, dirt road, Africa, or side street, America. When your heart decides to move into God, you are always given what you're really hoping for, more of God. Daring to hope for big things isn't about having extraordinary faith. It's about being faithful in the small, ordinary things. It's about leaning into the next right thing and finding what you've always hoped for, 
his shoulder to lean on, his arms to carry all, his heart to be your home. I look over at Katie smiling over the candles. Katie lit, and there it is. Radical living, radical loving, radical hoping isn't as much about where you move, but about a life of gazing into the face of Jesus and letting him move you where you are. He may move you somewhere across the world, or he may move you to believe again, to dare again, to reach out again. But if the steadying love of Christ moves you, it will move you out into the world with the bravest hope. He will move you to hope for what seems like impossible things because his closeness is your most cherished thing. Too often we want clarity and God wants us to come closer. Dreams are always clear when you press closer and you see them through the sheer love of God. Every single page you hold in your hands is sheer transparency. Both Katie's heart and God's closeness will steal the breath right out of your lungs and you'll find yourself the, fear, the freest forever prisoner of the greatest hope. After the birthday party, Benji lights a campfire in the backyard and Katie's 13 daughters find sticks and Benji helps Katie's girl, girls roast a mountain of marshmallows. You can see it in her eyes, how Katie looks at him and at her daughters, how she's kindled with the heat of his otherworldly love. Standing there that night under a starry Uganda sky, Katie didn't know yet how the story you're holding would unfold. She didn't know how she'd take how she tastes heartbreak. She didn't know how the road ahead of her would curve and turn and detour. She didn't know how she'd hold such glory and behold him and be held through everything. But Katie turned to me and said, the answer to everything is relationship. And I nodded and can feel the healing warmth of it. The answer to every question you have is always intimate relationship. Intimate relationship with him. Relationship is the whole of reality. Katie lives in the rarest, realest, and most Jesus revolutionary way. These pages testify to an intimate love affair with Jesus that births a hope that cannot disappoint. And you can always hold on to hope when you know Jesus is holding on to you. For three ordinary, extraordinary days, my oldest daughter and I did life with Katie and an authentic, amazing grace reigned. Hard won peace pervaded, and at the close of every meal, Katie served her family, living bread and from his word, just like she serves on every page of this book. And all I could think was, you hope as well as you know your father. Katie hopes like she's memorized the face of the father. This is a holy witnessing, and you're holding the pages that testify. This is a holy witnessing, and you're holding pages that testify in your hands. You will never be the same. When Benji stokes one more time, embers fly and hope splits the sky and even the stars give glory. Ann Voskamp, author of the New York Times bestsellers, The Broken Way and 1000 Gifts. This is the end of the foreword.